Hello and welcome to my Yakuza Kiwami 2 100% Trophy Guide video. In this video we're going to talk about the Let's Build Some Hills trophy. So this is all to do with Clan Creator. I can't remember which chapter this um, unlocks in. I think it's relatively early on. It's when you meet Majima and he goes to the construction yard um, where West Park used to be. Uh, and then you start this mini game called Clan Creator. So there's plenty of stuff you can do with Clan Creator. Um, the recruiting side of things, you can recruit them uh, on the little menu, and then you get like better people. Sometimes I've got like a pretty decent team here with all the amons and stuff. If you do want to cheat, uh, I think Sirius has got a guide with all the codes to get all the decent people. But if you want certain people like the Amons and stuff like that, you have to beat them and then you have to find them in the town. Same with other parts of the clan creator storyline. If you complete certain parts, you'll unlock certain people to join your ranks. And then you've got... Um, oh, how many other ones are there? I think you might unlock some in sub-stories. I can't remember if that's the case. But yeah, the essential idea of clan creator is like a horde mode. Um like wave after wave and you're protecting little uh, encampments or like machinery stuff like that so you need to set up your team in formations so you, usually I'd put you know three on one blockade three on another blockade three in the middle and then they, they work sort of automatically you're aiming for decent points obviously for the bonuses and to do that you have to beat them quickly I'm not the ideal candidate for this mini game, but it's not too bad. Like the later rounds, like waves, you know, 14, 15, 16 get a bit hairy. Certain enemies, you know, pretty crazy. You've got certain characters that are just amazing. There are buffs that you can upgrade. Um, I'll look into those buffs right now because there's certain ones that are just absolutely incredible. Um, and they really do help when you're trying to basically get through the uh, the level. Let me just type it in. There's certain ones which make you invincible for a certain amount of time, certain ones that, you know, boost attacks, there's certain ones that do actual physical attacks, which like tornadoes or, you know, you can increase defense, you can increase health. It's really personal preference on what you want. Um, but yeah, you want to like keep an eye, like if you see on the screen the highlighted character, uh, is the one you're sort of in control of and you can move with the little cursor so if you choose them to to move separately then they will you can get guys with ranged attacks with guns and stuff uh, most of them have swords or the fists as you can see uh, Amon over there has got dual axes one's got lightsabers one's you know you use a puncher uh, but you, you can go through all this in the in the menus and you can have a you know play around with it, have some fun with it, and uh, come up with you know the best strategy for you. But in terms of actual, um, let's see the tips page of Cyric Z. So I'll link you to the uh, Cyric Z guide as as always. He's got plenty of guidance on all of the uh, points to do with Clan Creator. So you've got the true essence of sprinting for Kam from Kamaki, apparently. Makes everyone move super fast for 45 seconds. I didn't actually use his guide on this, which I really should have, because that's probably a really good tip. Because if they're moving around really fast, they're going to just like annihilate everyone as quickly as possible. Should be good. The essence of Onslaught is a quintuple of attack strength, which is just crazy. Like, that'll... You know, you'd be one bombing everyone pretty much. True essence of repair. There's always. Oh, what? I didn't know you could. <laughs> There's true essence of repair actually heals the HP of your equipment. So I could have done with that once or twice. Because um, I, you know, you do slip up sometimes. You let the the enemies get through. You know, you're not paying attention to two or three enemies while you're taking on the group or whatever. That's pretty cool. Um. The I Love You one from Tanahashi, which heals apparently 40% of everyone's health. Really good. Tranquillo, 
slows enemies down, which again is a really good skill. I, I really wish I'd, I'd read these before I actually played it. Uh, so yeah, really do check out Xerxes Guide before you uh, before you dive in, and it will it will help you for sure. Surging power is another one. And what's that? Black Charisma, triple attack, and in invincibility. That's crazy. But that's only when you get Chono, so uh, that's a lot later on in the uh, in the game. But yeah, the the missions themselves, like you just there's a list of missions to do, and they start off easy, and they sort of break you into the the game. And uh, yeah, so he's done his own personal team as well. Um, so if you want to copy that, that'll probably make your life a lot easier. Uh, only four people give you like sort of booster effects, so yeah, his his team there are looking pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I had barely any of those. So yeah, you you really want to look at Series Z's guide for this. Um, it tells you about movement, placement tips, general tips. I mean, it's it's pretty much on the ball. In in the grand scheme of things, it's not the hardest mini game in the world, but uh, you know, some people might have trouble with it. Uh, if you've not played any sort of you know command and conquer -y type games, you might not be sort of used to having a team and moving them different ways and trying to keep like on top of the battlefield in in a technical way. So yeah, that's uh, that's definitely something to look at. He gives you a list of all of the um, employees and all the different sort of skills they have and really well detailed guides from their series A. Can't go wrong at all. You do unlock a lot of them through sub stories as well by the look of it. So definitely worth doing. There's some sort of DLC apparently but I uh, don't know what that's about. But yeah, to... Uh, yeah, there's, there's, it's just like a full-on word-for-word word guide. There's just absolutely nailing it. In terms of the completion list, I think there's probably like I think there's 26 points that you have to complete on that. So that'll go towards your uh, your 100% completion on the um, completion list, which is good. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff. It's a good way to make money as well. Um, cuz you're going to have to do it anyway. You're going to make a you're going to make a few million doing this for sure. You get like 50 grand in the first sort of uh, phase. I'm sure there's one that's really easy. That was a money maker. I can't remember which one it was. But you make a lot of money and it's uh, it's not particularly difficult. As far as I remember, that might have been on six though. I, I can't remember. But yeah, always worth a look through this guide. It's literally just so much information on there. God knows how he how he formulates that stuff and uh, gets it down on the paper, which is really good. There's also intermission chats, um, which again he's done guides on. He's given the uh, responses as well that you need to say for any like the prompt and then the response so definitely check that out because that will get you more awards and uh, definitely worth doing more awards means you can upgrade people more that's another point yeah you can level people up um, obviously that makes them stronger gives them better stats so if you're going for a team I would use his team uh, for sure because it, it just looks insane. I'm not sure if there is actually cheats on this one. I think it might be six where the cheats were, where you could just like choose the best like team in the world. But yeah, I'd, I'd follow his his guide completely. Uh, this, I wish I had read it now because it would have made it a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, in terms of this, the more S ranks you get, sort of the better. Um, if you get a better rank, sort of, you get a better score, you get more sort of awards at the end of it to level up. I don't know if you'll have to replay any missions. Um, if if you're following his guide, you'll uh, you probably won't have to replay any missions to upgrade or anything like that. 
So, uh, shouldn't have many issues at all. As you can see, we're on wave 9 out of 16 here, so... If, if I had the heal thing and it got a bit dicey, you know, it's, uh... It's safe to say it would be, uh, useful for sure. But if they are hitting the, uh, the stuff... There you go, Dragon Twister, lovely. Just takes that full enemy branch on his own. I'm on, coming in, just demolishing everyone. But yeah, like... You just basically want to keep on top of things, like, you want you want everyone to be active if you can. If you can have people, like, taking them out nearer the front, that's good. If not, then, uh, yeah. I think Sango Amon's probably the worst. Is it Sango Amon? Whoever that guy is shooting there in the middle of the screen. He's garbage, you don't want him in your team. By the look of it. Like, the guy with the axes is pretty good, the guy with the lightsabers is awesome. Uh, probably should have chose the other one because he'll have a rocket launcher, wouldn't he? But never mind. But yeah, some of them get a bit iffy. You can get sort of in in a zone where you, you're using one guy and you're not looking at the whole sort of picture. So it gets a bit messy. So you want people to be relatively near the construction equipment. Depending on the groups as well, when you got like mass groups like this, it's crazy. Uh, I forgot to mention the um, the money on the side. So the money on the side, you basically you can use if you see the numbers next to all the characters, and you see the sort of the level. If you upgrade them, it sort of upgrades their power, I think. But not only that, it heals them. So you're using that as like a heal mechanism. It'd be really useful. As you can see, the thing's taking a beat in there, so we need to get rid of those enemies rapid. But yeah, if we did have Essence of Heal here, we'd be, uh, be loving life. Luckily, this guy's coming in with his pole. I don't know why we've got him. Oh, he's a healer, that's why. But I don't even think we... Do we have the heal? I think we have the heal. But yeah, so if you upgrade, use that as sort of a healing technique. To heal your characters because I think once they're dead, they're dead. And you can't really do anything about it, so uh, yeah, not great. Uh, what else? So the special moves on the left also consume your money, so you need to be kind of careful with what you choose, but uh, keep on top of it on the bottom. Keep on top of it on the bottom. Good one, yeah. So, like, just keep an eye out. And you'll see, like, if they need healing, they need healing. Money's generally not an issue on here, because they do give you quite a lot, and it goes up consistently. It's not really that crazy. There is one tactic where you can just sort of leave one side of the, uh, one piece of equipment, and then just protect the other one. Because if you've got nine people protecting one, you can't really lose, unless they've got a lot of ranged... Uh, even then, it's pretty pretty hard to lose. Rockets can be an issue here, so watch out for that. You want to take out those rocket people ASAP if you can. That gun guy is so bad. He must have a good like special ability or something, because that he's just terrible. Those rockets, man! You need to get rid of those. But yeah, as you can see, the later rounds get a bit uh, dicey. I've got a terrible team, and I really do. Like, two of them are useless. Like, two ranged guys with rubbish guns that are doing no damage. Like, you do not want them in the team. You want people that are all doing damage. Or healing, or, you know, something decent. But maybe he was the only healer I could get. I don't know what the, uh, what that does. What does the cola do? Does that heal people? Oh, it heals people. I see. So that's a, a secondary heal if you need it for separate people. Ah, uh, that's why he's there with his gun. He heals everyone, which is quite good. That's Il Eugene, I think. But yeah, it's uh, it's a bit hectic. 
Where's the other guy? Wave 14. Come on, people. Where Have they not finished him? What's going on on the left? No, oh, they're still going. Absolutely annihilated them. Oh, they just keep spawning there. So yeah, when you get certain rounds like this, if, you, if they're just spawning right there, you can just do them in. If you've got enough people around them. But yeah, I, I would follow Syracuse's guide here all the way. Because it'll make your life a lot easier. You don't have to worry about things. Be pretty chilled in general. Go up to wave 15 now. See, these long arm waves are pretty uh, pretty dicey. Look at you, you go. So you really want to kill the rocket people. Because that's causing mayhem over there. And over there. Look how close we are to losing. That's crazy. Do I even win this one? <laughs> I hope I do. Because if I don't, I'll be furious. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a useful, uh, useful move there. Imagine it's crazy on this as well. Oh my god, you get down there. Cutting it thin here, cutting it real thin. Skin of his teeth. Last wave, we have to go balls to the wall on this guy. Oh, we've got an essence of beefcake. We've got an essence of iron heart. We've got an essence of healing. We've gone full ball to the wall. So I think we're like we're really buffed up on defense now. This guy is like really really strong for some reason. Don't know why Majim is not attacking those two. Oh, there's another enemy. Oh my god. But yeah, you want to take down the bosses as quickly as you can because if you let them survive, then it's uh, chaos. Obviously, we've landed ourselves in the middle here. The essence of beefcake's really, really helpful. Really useful. We really need to get back there because we're just letting them run for a while here. Oh my god, are we going to lose? Oh, we survive. Just protect the one. Just protect the one. The other people can deal with that. It gets manic, as you can see. Like, it's just in chaos. Absolute chaos. Essence of Beefcake, Dragon Twister. Don't let him lose, no. But yeah, obviously if you had the repair here, you'd have no trouble at all. Because you'd just be repairing it each time. Wouldn't be an issue. This is so lucky that we're not lost somehow. That guy needs to go down. Essence of beefcake. Yeah, it as the good thing about this is the targeting not the uh, not the actual equipment. So that's that's pretty decent. And we won. There you go. Somehow. Madness. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it helps. I will link Syrixe's guide in there because it's really useful. But uh, yeah. Take care. Peace out. Have a good one. いい戦いぶりだったぞ。